it's just a normal weekend vlog. I definitely think this weekend vlog is gonna be a little bit more jam-packed. I also wanted to share my thoughts on this Dreamland baby is successful. Hi, the dresser. I don't think a lot of the stuff in here can be taken out. But it's Good morning, guys, and welcome to this weekend's vlog. First off, please excuse the giant pimple I have on the side of my face. I rarely ever break out and get pimples. I think I can count on one hand how many pimples I've had in like the last like two to three years. I never get pimples and even when I do, uh, I cannot control the urge to try and pop them. And so this morning I went ham and destroyed my face trying to pop this pimple that clearly was not ready to be popped so please excuse that but today is saturday so welcome to the weekend vlog right now it's 8 20 in the morning i'm starting the vlog <clears throat> as you can tell still a little congested um but i'm starting the vlog outside of starbucks i just ran and grabbed harris and i some coffee the boys and i some croissants and i'm going to head home in a second to bring that home to all of them but i wanted to start the vlog with some peace and quiet today my last few vlogs the boys have been a little rowdy in the intro so i wanted to start it in my car but today is saturday so that means when i get home after the boys and i eat our little croissants and everything i have to go ahead and get myself and them ready we have their little gym class this morning and then during their nap today i want to do another target run um i think tomorrow yeah i think tomorrow i'm gonna go through the boys closet and try and clean out their stuff i did my closet like two-ish weeks ago I did their toys in my last video just a bunch of spring cleaning chores I'm trying to check off my to-do list so I think tomorrow I'm going to do their closet I think we might go to Harris's parents house tomorrow so just a normal weekend vlog I definitely think this weekend vlog is going to be a little bit more jam-packed my last two weekend vlogs have just been Sunday vlogs so I'm excited to have like a full jam-packed weekend vlog up for you guys so that is what today's video is going to be but I'm going to head home now get some coffee in me and then I will check in with you guys Okay, the boys are downstairs having their croissants with Harris, and I want to go ahead and strip their beds. The boys have been sick. Why is there a diaper over here? The boys have been sick for the past two weeks. If you guys are caught up with <clears throat> our vlogs, me too. That's why my throat sounds like that. Um, but since they've been sick, it's time to strip their beds and clean off their sheets. I also want to share my thoughts on this dreamland baby weighted sleep sack i mentioned this in my on my instagram i think like two weeks ago maybe over two weeks ago and i said i was going to give you guys my thoughts so maybe later on today i'll sit down and give you guys my thoughts on this this is dirty as well but i think you have to wash these a certain way so i think i'm going to wait and throw these in after the boys nap the rest of the stuff their sheets their blankets and everything i want to throw in now i do have a second set of sheets i'm going to put on the crib um and then i'll just have to dry their blankets their pillowcases and all that kind of stuff when we get home for timing reasons i want to get this in now since we have to leave for their class and then i can throw it in the dryer once we get home i'm so out of breath my chest is still super tight i covid tested again nothing so um I guess it's just like the last cold of the season. So I want to strip their beds and get some laundry in now.
you boys ready to go to class? Yay! Yay! Let's go to the car then. Come on. Yay! 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 Come on. You see the workers across the street? What are they doing? Yay! <laughs> Come on. Let's go get in the car for class. Yay. March. Okay. March. March, 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 march. Doggy? You hear a doggy? You hear the birdies? Oh, sorry. I'm in your way. Come on. Come beep beep, you're in the way. Beep, this way. Beep beep. Open the door. You want to sit on this side today? This is usually Jackie's side. Oh no! Kitty! Daddy's coming. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Do you want you want warm me? Yeah. Oh. No, you want dog dog? Hey. Alright, let me get brother are home from the boys little gym class now they are downstairs with Harris you guys can hear them they're playing with their drum set and everything I did go ahead and throw our laundry in the dryer so that that will be ready by the time the boys have to go down for their nap and I quickly wanted to take a minute to share my thoughts on the dreamland baby weighted sleep sacks I mentioned these over on my Instagram probably about two weeks ago please excuse all that background noise um probably about two weeks ago when i said i was going to share my thoughts on it in a future video and so today i wanted to sit down and share my thoughts with this if you guys are still unfamiliar with who dreamland baby is or if you have no idea who they are they're a company that was actually featured on a shark take which i think is amazing and they create weighted swaddles weighted sleep sacks weighted blankets and when i found out about them i honestly wish i found out about them sooner please excuse the banging um I honestly wish I heard about them sooner. I think what they create is really interesting and I would have been really interested in getting the weighted swaddle for the boys when they were much younger. But unfortunately, I didn't hear about them until way after the fact. So I am interested in getting the weighted swaddle for our future baby and giving it a go then. But for now, I picked up a weighted sleep sack. This isn't the size extra large. You wanna go by all of the measurements that are over on their website on their size chart. So this one says 35 to 40 inches and the boys are like 38 inches and 25 to 35 pounds and the boys are like 28 pounds so that's why i went with the extra large on the back of the packaging this is what it physically came in first of all when i got this in the mail i was expecting the package but i wasn't expecting the package that i picked up to be the weighted sleep sacks because these do have a decent weight to them it does say on the website i think it's about like 10 percent of your child's body weight but it has been tested and it is safe for children to wear it says here that it's bpa free the inner beads designed in partnership with pediatricians neonatal intensive care units so NICU um, nurses certified sleep consultants it's been reviewed by a pulmonologist so it is safe for children's breathing and it says it passed all safety testing and additional non-required testing so it is safe for your child to wear it's been tested a whole bunch by a bunch of licensed professionals it says that it has evenly distributed weight from shoulders to toes a two-way zipper it's machine washable but you do have to wash it i believe in like cold water and tumble dry so that's why i didn't wash it with the rest of the laundry that i threw in 100% premium cotton, super soft and gentle. And then it says 0.6 TOG designed for year-round use. I think that has to do with like the fabric so that your children don't 
overheat in it i will link their website down below so that you can read up on like the family that created it why they created it their experience with shark tank you can read more reviews and honest opinions over on their website but i was thoroughly intrigued when i heard about this now the boys are great sleepers to begin with so buying this i wasn't like i didn't buy it with improving their sleep in mind i bought it more so just to try it out and see if it's worth the price because it is pretty pricey it's i think 89 dollars for the sleep sack but i wanted to give it a go for you guys i wanted to see the quality see if it did improve their sleep at all like i said they are good sleepers but they do take a while to fall asleep at night so i wanted to see if this helped i just wanted to give it a go and see what it was all about and i'm thoroughly impressed and thoroughly intrigued now the boys are good sleepers so it didn't really prolong their sleep but one issue we have with the boys is jumping they jump in their bed if you guys have been following me for a while you would know this they jump in their beds a lot especially before sleep at night and i found that since these are heavy and it's a little bit harder for them to jump in them that they're actually not jumping as much as they used to before they fell asleep i think just because it's more tiring and it's heavier and it's harder to jump so it has helped with the whole jumping aspect but like I said, they're really great sleepers to begin with. I definitely am interested in getting the weighted swaddle for our next baby and trying that out. I think it would be great at like the four month sleep regression, having it during like sleep training when your child is learning to put themselves to sleep independently. I could see why the weighted swaddle would help or the weighted sleep sack would help at that point of time. So I'm definitely interested in getting these products earlier on with our next baby and really giving it a valiant effort. But I think it is a cool product. I definitely see the quality. It is weighted. It definitely is weighted. Um, it's super soft. The boys seem to love it. I think it's a really cool product and I definitely recommend checking it out if you do have issues with your children sleeping or settling or getting themselves to sleep. I could see it working for that. And so I I think it's a cool product. I definitely recommend it. I do have a coupon code to get, I believe, 15% off. Um, I will leave that down below so you guys can get some money off. Like I said, since they are a pricier product, I highly recommend using that coupon code. And the link that I'm leaving down below, you guys can follow it right over to their website. It is an affiliate link. They were kind enough to give that to me. So thank you to Dreamland Baby Co. And thank you to anyone who purchases through that. I do make a small commission. But as you guys know, I always appreciate when you do purchase things through my affiliate links. It means the world to me. So yeah, if you've heard about Dreamland Baby and you're kind of on the fence with getting it, I would say give it a go. See if it helps your baby. I definitely am excited and happy that we picked it up. Um, they're definitely dirty. I need to wash them, but they have a bunch of different colors and designs. So you don't have to get like the white star one that we had. This was just what was left in their size, but I think you guys should check it out. If you think your baby would benefit from a weighted sleep sack or a weighted swaddle or a weighted blanket, I definitely understand. I know adults who like weighted blankets and things like that. So I definitely see the purpose in this. And I think it's cool that they were on shark tape. So I wanted to quickly mention that since I talked about it on my Instagram and I said I would update you guys. There's my little update. I do need to throw these in the washer when the boys get up from their nap. But I need to go now and make the boys some lunch. And then when they do go down for their nap, I'm going to run out to Target. So I will catch up with you guys then. Okay, I just pulled up to my Target. It is raining now. That's why I have my hood on. Um, I'm about to get out of the car. I have no idea how my Target is always so jam-packed. Every time I come to Target, no matter what day of the week it is, it is impossible to find parking. I don't understand how so many people need to go to Target on the same day, but I finally found a spot very far from the door, so I need to kind of hustle in there since it is raining now, but I need to pick up a bin since I want to go through the boys' clothes tomorrow. I want to do their closet and everything, um, so I need a bin for that. We need diaper pail bags, um, and I think there was one other thing I wanted to get. I might get some Mighty Patches, like those little pimple patches for this guy here. And then just like have in the house. I have nothing for breakouts in the house because I rarely ever get a breakout. And then every time I get a breakout, I wish I had something to put on it. So I might get some of those. Um, my Prus might walk around for a little bit. The boys are home and down for a nap now with Harris. The usual little game plan we have on the weekends is Harris stays home with them while they nap and then I run around and do all my errands. So I'm going to head in and then I will show you guys what I get.
guys it is now the next day it is sunday i never wound up updating you guys when i got home from target with what i got because i came home from target with the worst headache ever i think it was because i didn't have lunch before i went and so i got like a hunger headache so that really took me off for a few hours and then harris's friends wound up coming over so i just didn't pick up the camera after the fact but it is now sunday we are going to go over to harris's parents house in a little bit i think it's almost nine o'clock now and we want to head over there around 10 that's usually the time that we go over there so i want to get started on cleaning out the boys room now and then i will finish it up tomorrow i did wind up picking up a bin i also picked up those like mighty patches those pimple patches and although my pimple is still pretty red it is completely flat now I wore one yesterday for probably five ish hours and then I put a new one on before I went to sleep last night and it is completely flat now it has like nothing left in it those things really drained it out I think those are really really cool I've never tried them before so I highly recommend but um yeah I picked up a bin so I want to get going on their room I think I'm going to start with their dresser I'll show you guys their dresser I don't think a lot of the stuff in here can be taken out but it definitely needs to be refolded I think some shirts can probably come out some of the stuff has been sitting in here since last summer so I want to do that I also have a bag of clothes already in the bottom of their closet this like red bag I don't even think you guys can see right there that has clothes in it that are from last time I went through their stuff. I didn't have a bin to put it in. So I want to take that stuff out and put it in this bin here. And then I think when we get back after their nap, <clears throat> I will do their closet. All of these little bins along here are so messy. I also, of course, need to fold some laundry that I did the other day. You guys know me. So I'm going to sit and do that. But I'll do that off camera. I swear I show that in every weekend vlog me folding their laundry. So I'll do that off camera. But I think for now, I'm going to start with their dresser and then I'll pick out the boys' outfits for the day. We'll get dressed and we'll head over to Harris's parents for a little bit. Also, yes, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt that I wore when I started the vlog yesterday. This is like my favorite lounging around the house sweatshirt. I thrifted this probably over a year ago and this is like the sweatshirt, my go-to sweatshirt to throw on in the morning since my house is pretty cold in the morning or throw on to like lay in bed. And then on the days where I don't get dressed and I sit in my pajamas all day, I am sitting in this sweatshirt and you're lying to yourself if you don't have a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or something that you wear four out of the seven, probably even five out of the seven days a week. <clears throat> that is how frequently I wear this sweatshirt. So yes, I'm wearing the same thing that I wore when I started the vlog yesterday. I went through their drawers I wound up putting away some pajamas that are like kind of on the smaller side and ones that the boys didn't really wear that often and then I went through and was able to fold all of their long sleeve shirts I have some crew necks here all of their short sleeve shirts these are sweatpants that have to get put away this is summer stuff that I want to hang up and then left in this bag here is summer stuff from last summer that's still going to fit the boys this summer so I'm just keeping it in this bag so I know where it is and then in this bin here I was able to put away all these stuff from last summer and then uh, pajamas from this year I have some shirts from this year in here and then there is enough room so that at the end of the winter season once we start wearing shorts and everything I'll be able to put in all of the boys long sleeve shirts and sweatpants from this past winter so i'm going to just stick this in the um, spare room downstairs for now put this back in their closet hang this stuff up i want to get the boys dressed and then like i said when i get home from harris's parents house that is when i will tackle all of these bins here and then like the floor and everything in their closet okay we are home from harris's parents house the boys took a nap but they are up now they're finishing some of their rainbow bagel from what we had at Harris's parents' house for lunch. We had some bagels. What? Say hi, come here. I see. Say hi. hi. 
But while we were at Harris's parents' house, his mom gave us some more clothes for them. So I thought I would do a little unboxing slash haul. And then when Harris gets up on his nap, I will put all of this away while I do the boys' closet. So this package is already open. I think this stuff is all from Rock Your Baby, maybe? Yeah, I think this is all from Rock Your Baby. She got us two more swimsuits. Both of them are like a cream color with different designs. So this one has Whoa. dinosaurs on it. Whoa. And then this one has just like a bunch of little kind of like patchwork random Whoa. designs. And then she got us two pairs of shorts. What, baby? I don't have any more bagel. That's what we have left from grandma's. Two pairs of shorts. This pair here we actually have in a smaller size that the boys wore while we were in Florida. Um back around the time of their birthday so she got us this pair again in a larger size and then this red pair that has like cream stripes on it and then she got us two shirts everything here is in the size two so it'll be perfect for this summer so she got us this cream shirt and then this black shirt so all that stuff is from rock your baby and then this new package that she gave us i didn't open yet this actually got delivered to our house but we didn't check our mail until um, we got home today, so she said this stuff is from Tiny Whales, I think. Oh. How's your bagel, baby? So then, let's see what we got. So we have a few pairs of shorts here. We have this pair here, which is like a denim, bleach dyed denim short. All of this stuff is also in the size two. So we have these shorts. Mama, mama. No more bagel, baby. That's all the bagel mommy had. That's what you have left from grandma's house. We have these shorts, which are like dip bleached, dip dyed. And then we have a bunch of shirts. So we have this one. We have this one. Ooh, you okay, baby? Ooh, we then have this one. I love this one. We then have, ooh, this one. These are all super cute. And then one more. Oh, I think this one might be mommy's favorite. I can't tell. I don't know if this one or this one is my favorite. This one is so cute. So then we have this one. So once Harris gets up from his nap, I'm going to go ahead and hang all of this. <laughs> once Harris gets up from his nap, he will sit down here with the boys for me and I'll go ahead and hang all this stuff up and put it in the spare closet in their playroom to save for summer. And then I will go through and organize <laughs> their closet. Look at Jackie. I'll go ahead and organize their closet in their room and straighten that up just so it's more manageable. It seriously has gone so out of hand and is such a disaster. They wind up wearing like the same few things because whatever's on top is what I grab. So I need to refold and reorganize all that once <sighs> Harris gets up, right? What do you want to do until daddy gets up? Daddy's sleeping, what do you want to do? Want to watch TV? Coco Mimin? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> the boys closet i also hung up all of the t-shirts that i just shared with you guys here in their closet and then all of the shorts and bathing suits i put in the other closet in the playroom i do have some shorts and stuff in this one so i'm not very organized with their summer stuff i feel like i need to go through and organize that kind of shuffle between the two closets and make it more cohesive but for now i put all the shirts here this bin here these are all their extra sleep sacks now and then these are extra pajamas that haven't that don't get the boys yet that probably won't until next fall and then we have some hats and then this bin here these are their most worn sweatpants slash sweatpants that they're probably going to grow out of soon and then this bin here is sweatpants that are a little bit on the larger side that i know that they'll fit in for quite some time after that i'm like so out of breath from doing this um 
And then down here I have their little like duffel bags with their names and then all of their sweatshirts. And then here are all the pants that they have grown out of that I need to put in that bin. I did bring it downstairs. So I have to bring this stuff down and throw it in that bin. But I think I showed you guys this already. This is their drawer. It's pretty much all cleaned out and organized. And now I'll be good for a few more months, at least until the summer comes. And I'll have to go through like their sweatpants and everything. I'll be good until then. Okay, the boys are now upstairs with me playing with everything that is in their beds. But I am going to go ahead and close the vlog out. We have nothing going on for the rest of the afternoon or tonight. And I did get done what I wanted to get done. I feel like I'm officially done with all my spring cleaning. I did my closet and my room. Harris still has some stuff on the floor. I did wind up doing some of his side of the closet. Um, but I did their toys. I did their closet. I did their room. So I feel like until summer hits and I need to put all of their sweatpants and everything away, I'm in pretty good shape with their clothes and all of our little like spring cleaning to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos, the past few videos I've put up of me doing my little spring cleaning and organization. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you guys are interested in a Dream My Baby Co or you know reading up on them, shopping their products, I will have my coupon code, their website and their Instagram all in the description box below for you guys to check out. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Say bye guys! <laughs> Thanks Ben.